just dropped a video, you Muppet! Hey there! All you lovely Muppeteers and Boomerites, how we doing today? I am really excited. You know why? Because I am watching another football chant video from England. Now, the title of this video, I haven't done one of these in a long time. This popped up randomly in my feed, so I got really excited for it. Uh, so a lot, I've had a lot of people um, discover this channel because of my reactions to a few of uh, the English football chant videos. So when I saw this, I clicked it immediately. I was like, oh boy, I set up the camera. I was all ready to go. Um, so this video is titled Top Funniest Chants in English Football with Lyrics. And it's from the channel We Speak Football. With It's got over, over uh, a million subscribers on that channel, so well done to you. Uh, we Speak Football. So this should be very, very, very good. I'm hoping. Um, the bar has been set very high, so best funny uh, funniest chants in English football with lyrics. We'll be the judge of that, right, Boomerites? So let's get into it, folks. I'm sure this is going to be a doozy. I can't wait. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so I'm, I'm really excited. Here we go. Let's see what this one's all about. Very loud. Now, are they talking to the uh, opposing team? Like the opposing team is up 4 0, and the home fans are saying it's only, you should be scoring on us more than that, because that would be really funny. What is this dance? Having fun though. Bites who he wants. What is that? That sounds like some Mike Tyson shit, man. Okay, I, I, Luis, I gotta find out what's going on. Let's do a little research here. Luis Suarez, Uruguayan soccer player. Okay. Where is the... Uh, he bites who he wants. Racial abuse incident? Is that what it is? See, uh... He's found guilty by a three-man panel from the Football Association of racially abusing Patrice Evra during a match against Manchester United in October. He was issued an eight-match suspension and a 40... Thousand pound fine. Wow, that's a lot. That's a hefty fine. Um, they opened up an investigation about the incident. He was upset about the ac accusation and denied the claims. Doesn't say anything about biting. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. First biting incident. Okay, okay, here we go. So this is, uh, soon after uh, Suarez returned from his World Cup campaign, he scored his 100th goal for Ajax in a one-to-one one -one home draw against uh, PAOK. Sorry, I don't know much about the some of the clubs. Um, and blah, 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 blah. On November, here it is. On, no on the 20th of November 2010, Suarez bit 
PSV's Atman Bacal on the shoulder during a OO draw. So Ajax suspended for two matches to find him an undisclosed amount, which the club said they would donate to a good cause. Biting victims? I don't know. The Dutch... <laughs> oh my god! The Dutch daily newspaper De Telegraph branded Suarez the cannibal of Ajax. I think I'm saying Ajax right. Is it Ajax? I don't, I don't know. But the uh, the cannibal of Ajax, dude. That's a hell of a nickname. Oh my god. And then the, they increased Suarez's suspension to seven leave matches. Suarez apologized. But then I saw down here the second biting incident. On uh, 21st of April 2013, during a 2-2 draw with Chelsea in a Premier League match against Anfield, Suarez bit Branislav Ivanovic. This was the second time Suarez has bitten an opponent. It was noticed by the officials, and Suarez scored an equalizer in injury time. The bite prompted UK Prime Minister David, David Cameron to call the FA to take a hard line with Suarez. The Prime Minister got involved. The fucking Prime Minister of the UK got involved after his second biting incident. Oh my god. This is some wild shit, dude. Ugh. Contrary to claims for Suarez, Ivanovic did not accept an apology. I don't blame you. Three men independent panel appointed by the FA decided on a 10-game ban for Suarez, who did not appeal ban. Let's scroll down a little more. Is there a third biting incident? God, these, these football, these soccer, football players are crazy. Okay, I don't see anything else. Style of play, controversies. Suarez has widely been accused of diving. That's no good. Suarez has received infamy for the multiple occasions he has bitten opponents. The group team match in 2014 FIFA World Cup, Suarez was shown to have bitten Italian defender Giorgio Cialini. Cialini. I, I can't pronounce that name, sorry. Resulting in FIFA suspending... Suarez from all football activities for four months. While playing for Liverpool, Suarez bit Chelsea player. Well, I've read about that one. Branislav Ivanovic. Was punished with a 10-match ban. Oh, my God. Due to his diving, biting, stamping, and other antics, Suarez has been frequently labeled as a pest and a cheat. Wow. What was that nickname again? The Cannibal of... Keep going up. God, this is a long Wikipedia page for a football player, man. There it is. The Cannibal of Ajax. Oh, my God. What a nickname. That is that is wild, dude. Oh, my God. Luis Suarez. Look at his ears. His ears look like they've been bitten off. Maybe somebody did it to him at an early stage. But sorry about that long pause. I had... He bites who he wants. He bites who he wants in a chant. I got to find out what's behind that because that is wild. Oh, man. Crazy football matches over there. Whoops. I'm clicking the wrong thing. That is so crazy. You gotta go, you gotta go. He's laughing about it like that. He's got it. Diego Costa must not be a good looking man. I've seen this before. Oh, that's one of the best ones. He's 
name is Asha. I don't get that one. It amazes me that y'all can have fun even when things are going bad. Like, uh... I don't know, man. Like, I'm when I'm invested in a, a American football game, like when the Buccaneers are playing, or with baseball when the Baltimore Orioles are playing, because those are my teams. If they're not winning, I ain't having fun. I take it to the heart, man. If they're not winning, I ain't having fun. So the fact that uh, you guys can have fun even when your team's playing like garbage. It's a testament to you guys. You guys can make uh, make a fun event even if uh, things are going horribly wrong. I, I really admire that. I've never heard a chant go to that tune. We never win, we never win, we never win. We never win. <laughs> is a man. I bet a lot of people in that crowd don't hate Carl Pilkington. So I, there's a, the suspension of disbelief is not as strong with that one. Joe Terry, he's shagging your wife. He's shagging your wife. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's the best one so far. Oh, man. John Terry is shagging your wife. Oh, my God. I don't know who they're chanting this at. Stoke City fans to Lampard. Lampard? Lampard? Should we research that, too? I don't want to make this, like, a super long... I don't even know what Lampard's... Let's see what comes up. Oh, let's type in John Terry. Eh, I don't know. Lampard. Frank Lamp Lampard? God, I'm probably butchering that name. Let's see. We got him up here on the Wikipedia page. Style of play, managerial career. Personal life. In 2000, what is this? 2000 Lampard, Rio Ferdinand, and Kieran Dyer appeared in a sex video that was filmed at the Holiday Resort in Cyprus. <laughs> Channel 4 aired a brief edited clip as part of their 2004 documentary, Sex Footballers and Videotape. Oh my god. That's well that's unfortunate for that, but it sounds like they partied a little too hard. Um Nah, I see nothing about wait, hold on. Relationships. Nah, I'm not seeing anything about John Terry, so I don't know what's happening there. Lampard, John Terry. It's probably just a chant to work them up. But that was funny about the sex 
Same thing with two other people, though. <laughs> Them footballers are wild, man. All right, let's keep you on. You're scum. We lose every week. You're nothing special. We lose every week. It's a classic. It's a classic one. Because he looks like Voldemort. He's got a shaved head. That one's a, that one's a good one. I don't think I've heard that one before. That's great. Brandy Liverpool Shager. fans, props to you guys. That guy's so angry. Got some traveling fans here. Talking trash in an opposing stadium. You know, this is going to be the rare time where I criticize a chant. I think that I think the chants are better when they're not, because that one's really fast. It's really fast. I, it's, I'm not saying it's a bad chant. I just think it's too fast. Because it, it's hard to... Without the lyrics here, I wouldn't be able to make out at all what they're saying. Because they're doing it way too fast. If you slow it down and then get to the funny parts, that those are the, those are the great ones, man. Um, again, the chant's good. The, the execution of it, it's, it's, too, it's too fast, in my opinion. But, you know... You can criticize me all you want because I'm a dumb American who doesn't know about these football events very much, you know? pretty good okay there were some in there that i'd seen before but there were some new ones that really had me rolling and the the cannibal of ajax that blows my mind that this guy is known for biting people in football matches uh luis suarez i think his name was that is that's a crazy thing to be known for I mean, Mike Tyson in boxing, he's known for biting, but he only did it in one match. He did it twice in the same match. He bit a Vanity Holyfield's ear off, but I mean, he's he's also known for beating the living shit out of people, so I don't know. It's uh but to be known for frequently biting people during matches, that is insane. And the pick the like the player picture of of Kind of like the player mugshot that they put on, like, uh, trading cards and stuff. I saw his picture. It looked like his ears were bitten off at the tops here. So maybe somebody did it to him, and he's trying to get payback for all the trauma that he's been caused. I don't know. But that is such a wild story to me. 
Um, <laughs> Fat Granny Shagger. Fat Granny Shagger is what I'm voting to be the best chant of that one. That one was really good. Um, you guys are so creative over there. Across the Atlantic. Um, and I appreciate the hell out of it. And it was... It, I was really excited to do a football chant video, uh, reaction again when I saw this pop in my feed. So thank you, We Speak Football, for putting this out. I mean, you probably won't see this because you put this out like six years ago. But uh, I really appreciate you for putting this out. Um, maybe I should find another one soon because I haven't done some of these in a while. And this was really fun. I really enjoyed this one. All right, Boomerites, remember to like, subscribe, do what you guys want. I'm King Boomer. And remember to hit the notification notification bell if you want to see future reactions. Okay? All right. I'll see you on the flip side. Have a good weekend, everybody.